ओम शांति फोर्थ डिसम्बर टू थाउजेंड एटीन ट्यूजडे टूडेज ब्लेसिंग इज मे यू सर्व एज अ डिटैच टॉप सर्व साक्षी वाइल कीपिंग द स्पेशलिटी एंड यूनिकनेस ऑफ ब्रमिन बर्थ इन योर अवेयरनेस द ब्रमिन बर्थ इज अ डिवाइन बर्थ ऑर्डिनरी सोल्स celebrate their birthdays marriage day friends day separately but your birthday marriage day mothers day fathers day engagement day are all the same because all of you have promised to belong to the one father and none other so play your part in doing service while keeping the speciality and uniqueness of this birth in your awareness be one others another's companion in service but be a companion while remaining a detached observer let there not be the slightest subservience chuka to anyone so baba is talking about the uniqueness and the speciality of this brahmin birth of this brahmin life this brahmin birth is divine birth this brahmin birth is divya janam divine birth and it has got uniqueness and it has got certain specialities so baba is saying the ordinary souls they keep on celebrating many days but for you all days are same for you since you have promised to one father that you belong to one father and none other so keep this uniqueness and keep this speciality in your awareness and also when you are with one another in service be companion but remain a detached observer let there not be slightest attachment to anybody so is talking two things first is this divine birth what are the uniqueness or what is the uniqueness of this divine birth and what are the specialities of this divine birth this divine life this divine birth is very very special so what are the specialities of this alaukik new spiritual birth spiritual life what are the uniqueness or speciality what are <coughs> the birth of child and father at the same time okay and the speciality of this divine birth how this divine birth is different in this birth one dies alive this is marjiva janam in this birth there is a death of the old sanskars there is a death of the old belief system there is a death of the old life old habits old addictions and whatever that is old so in that way this is like dying alive another thing is this is a second birth brahmins are known as dvij twice born so here we have taken a second birth the first is the birth of the body and this is the birth of the soul though the soul is birthless and deathless and yet the soul is taking a new birth a new lease of life then what is the uniqueness of this birth as we took birth we start to do service the moment we take birth we start walking <laughs> in that birth it takes time it takes time the child doesn't start walking immediately here the moment you take birth not just walking some of them start running and some of them start flying so 
सर्विस कम्स टू यू एज एज अर्ली एज एज सुन एज यू टेक बर्थ देन द मोमेंट यू टेक बर्थ यू रिसीव थ्री टाइप्स ऑफ इनहेरिटेंस फ्रॉम द फादर इन यस्टरडे साकार मुरली बाबा टॉक्ट अबाउट थ्री इनहेरिटेंस वॉट वर दे यस्टरडे साकार मुरली थ्री टाइप्स ऑफ वर्षा थ्री टाइप्स ऑफ इनहेरिटेंस यू रिसीव ऑन संगम युग वन इज स्टडी सेकेंड इज होम एंड फोर्थ इज बादशाही द किंगडम ऑफ द न्यू वर्ल्ड so baba has come to give you this inheritance the moment you become child the moment you take birth you get the right to inheritance you claim your right to inheritance so that is the speciality of this brahmin birth then okay we come out from the bhakti and from the darkness in today's sakar murli baba has said a very beautiful word regarding omniscience of god they think that god is omnipresent because everywhere agyan is prevailing chhaya hua everywhere it is agyan which is prevailing so the moment you take birth you come out from that stark darkness you come out from that darkness that ignorance that dark night of the soul and you come into the light you come into this new radiance new brilliance and start walking ahead so all the paraphernalia of bhakti of the all the cult of bhakti all the uh, things rituals traditions which we were following till now everything stops and automatically one adopts new rituals of gyan so that is one then what is the other speciality of this divine birth you receive all powers you receive all the powers you receive all the virtues not only that you receive all the treasures recently in the avyakta murli baba said you are the highest in the world you are the holiest in the world and you are the richest in the world yesterday somebody was asking me how come that we are richest in the kalpa it is okay that you are richest in the brahmin life that's fine but baba said you are richest in the entire kalpa what about that how come not about gross ha so of course we have got nine treasures navanidhi baba talked about treasures you are the richest in the world these riches they you get them for birth after birth this you get directly from the father this is avinashi these are the three things baba told about the richness in that murli they go on birth after birth you get it from directly from the father and these are alaukik these are spiritual treasures and these are imperishable treasures three or four things baba told about those treasures but how come this treasures you are the richest in the entire kalpa how come well, if we have to answer this question we have to see first what are the treasures and how each one of the treasure is connected to richness of the kalpa just take the example first treasure is gyan those who have filled themselves with gyan here in the golden age and in the silver age they will have more wealth those who are pauper those who are poor here in spiritual knowledge they will be poor in the gross wealth in satyug and treta now what about dwapar and kaliyug what about copper age and what about iron age those who have filled themselves with knowledge here they will remain full of gross wealth even in copper age and even in iron age they will take birth in a family with a golden silver spoon in their mouth they don't have to work very hard you have seen that there are some people who have taken birth in a family where they don't have to work hard at all for example just forget human beings even dogs some dogs are street dogs 
they don't get any bone a single piece of bone <laughs> they are just barking and barking and barking and baying at the moon at night but there are some dogs look at them they have got clothes okay nice clothes and there are different clothes for winter for summer <laughs> raincoat also and they have got their special vehicle and they have the special servant to special food special vaccination so special care by doctors they have their special veterinary doctors so yeah they remain in ac and they have their fixed morning evening time and so they go for walk and uh, so nicely so look at the fortune of some dogs and look at the misfortune of those street dogs who keep on barking the whole night and they don't get an iota and these and these dogs get so much love also so in a similar manner there are some human beings who are always cribbing always complaining always moaning and groaning always unhappy distress dissatisfied rattled all the time and there are some human beings they don't have to struggle in that manner they have taken birth in some family where they get everything everything is at hand they don't have to struggle for food they don't have to struggle for shelter they don't have to struggle for studies even in the studies they are so good always coming off in flying colors so in this brahmin birth just we took off one treasure fill yourself with knowledge here to the extent that the knowledge sanskar would continue for all the 5000 years in the similar manner take another treasure for example powers fill yourself with divine powers here fill yourself with spiritual powers here the more the spiritual powers here automatically you will be powerful to that extent in golden age in silver age also from the copper age you will not be amongst those soul who get trapped in maya so easily you will have a very high spiritual character you will have a very high elevated um, spiritual caliber even from copper age because there is a power in the soul you will not fall so easily in the trap of vices so powers in the similar manner virtues in the similar manner blessings in the similar manner happiness recently in the murli in shanti man baba talked about happiness there is no such nourishment like happiness and there is no such treasure like happiness and this happiness when it is there you get health wealth and happiness and there is a very beautiful statement in that murli very very beautiful probably i heard it for the first time when you distribute happiness even before distribution you get, get happiness baba always says you distribute and you get but even before bartna even before giving you get the happiness back so all the treasures so you are the most you are the richest in the world you are the highest in the world you are the holiest in the world these are the three attainments lines of attainment baba saw so what are the other specialities or uniqueness of this brahmin birth so all the treasures all the powers and what else in this brahmin birth you start giving birth to other souls the moment you take birth you start doing service there is a similar statement in today's sakar murli about this the moment you take birth you start serving others you have, you want that everyone should inherit the uh, kingdom of heaven then this is the only birth we become completely pure in today's sakar murli baba said this is ruhani yog this is spiritual yoga you get connected with ocean of purity and you become pure there is no other yoga in the world which teaches us 
human beings to become pure. This is the only yoga where you get connected with yoga and you become pure. So this is spiritual yoga, this is ruhani yoga, where purity comes in the soul. The soul has become impure, adulterated, contaminated, alloyed. Alloy has get mixed in this soul. So this is Rohani Yoga. So this is the only birth where you get a chance and opportunity to become pure. In today's Sakar Murli Baba said, just grab it. Pakad lo. Grab it. You got the chance, grab it. Next, what are the specialities of this Brahmin birth? True satsang, okay. Along this Brahmin birth, you get the family of pure souls. You get the commune of pure souls. You get the congregation of pure souls. You come in the assembly, in the meeting of other pure souls who have taken similar divine births like you. And that's why this birth is special. Then what else? God's company. This is the only birth where you get God's company. In no other birth, God Himself is it with you. Then? Brahmin family. Then? Okay. Then? Foundation of all births. Yeah, it's a very powerful point. This birth is a foundation of all the births. What you do here? The result of this would be reflected throughout the 5000 years. The ramification of this birth is seen in the 5000 years. The echo of this birth would keep on reverberating throughout the 5000 years. So, this is the foundation. This is the basis of all the other births. What else? What is the uniqueness of this birth? Hmm? Oneness. oneness, okay. So oneness. Then, yeah, yeah. What? Okay, okay. Here, this is the basis for becoming sixteen celestial degree full. Okay. So here. Here only you become 16 celestial degree full. Okay. What else? Hmm? That is said already. What else? Only this much. Hmm? This is the highest birth. No other birth is greater than this birth. This is the highest. Compare this birth with all other births. All other births. Even when somebody was a deity, that birth is not this much high. He, this is the highest birth. This is the holiest and this is the richest, richest birth. Brahmins are very rich people. Hmm. Very, very rich. Otherwise also. Then, <laughs> what are the specialities of Divya Janam? Here, the birth is divine and as well as the karma are divine. The actions are also very divine. In Gita, God says, Janma karma chadivya cha. Arjuna, my birth and my karma are very divine. In the similar manner, our birth and our karmas, our actions are very divine here. Not only actions, our thoughts are divine. Our smriti, our awareness is divine. Our words are divine. Our actions are divine. Our behavior is divine. Our relations and connections are divine. Our dreams are divine. Baba said in that murli of holiest means not just brahmacharya, not just celibacy, but even in your dreams, impurity cannot touch you. Such purity you have. You were pure all the time. When you were in the Paramdham, that time you were very pure. When you came down, then you were very pure. In the Copper Age, you were pure. And now also in this last birth, you were pure. And your fifth form, the angel, that is always pure. All your five forms are very pure. 
So this is this birth is highest, this birth is richest, this birth is holiest. What else? This birth is very very entertaining birth. There's a lot of entertainment in this Brahmin life. Every day new murli, every day new coals of gyan. Because the engine has become cold. That's why Baba is putting fire, fiery coal. This is the, Baba is tightening the screw. Because the engine has become very very slow and dull. And there is a lot of cold. So he has come to tighten the screw. And he has come to throw coals of knowledge. Hmm. And <laughs> he has created Akhera. He has created a nest for you, a divine ghosla, a divine nest for you. This is how he entertains you with new words, with new language. <laughs> and we have those birds. And he has created the nest. The mother bird has created nest. So, he will use all the entertaining things in this knowledge. So this knowledge is very, very entertaining. This birth, the moment you take birth, one more thing, you start dancing in this birth. You start singing in this birth. So this is a birth where you sing and where you dance and where you laugh and where you enjoy. This is not the birth of fasting but the birth of feasting. They do fasting, we do feasting. That is the difference in this birth. So we are in this birth, dancing prophets are created. Dancing Masihas are created. Dancing Avatars are created. Such Avatars who keep on dancing. Those Avatars are very serious. Mahatma Buddha will never dance. He will be sitting in meditation. Mahavir will never dance. Those uh, Zoroaster will never dance. Jesus Christ, have you ever seen him dancing? They say of Jesus Christ that there is not a single poster of Jesus Christ where he is seen smiling. He is never smiling. Have you seen any any poster of Mahatma Buddha where he is smiling or dancing? Or it's, It doesn't look good. He is a very different. Ah, you have seen Meera always dancing. But you have never seen Meera sitting in meditation like Buddha. <laughs> so, so we are dancing saints. We are dancing religious founders. We are dancing messengers of God. We are dancing Masihas. We are dancing Tirthankaras. We are dancing Buddhas. We are dancing Shankaracharya. Have you ever seen Shankaracharya ever dancing? He is very serious. Very, very serious. For him, Jagan Mithya. This world is untrue. Only Brahma, Satya. So, there is none like us in the world. So this birth, the moment you take birth, just imagine, the moment a child takes birth, he smiles, uh, he cries. The moment we take birth, we start dancing. <laughs> this is the difference. <laughs> that birth and this birth. <laughs> mm. Baba has talked about fight also today in Sakar Murli. Mm. So this is a very divine birth. This is a unique birth. This is a very special birth. And in this special birth, we have all the days clubbed into one. This is Mother's Day. This is Father's Day. This is Engagement Day. This is an Anniversary Day. This is Marriage Day. This is a Ring Ceremony. This is... A what are the days? And friendship Days. Then this is... A what they said? Death day also. <laughs> Obituary. This is our death day. May we celebrate. This is the celebration of death. There is no culture in the world where death is celebrated. Here we celebrate death. How? If somebody dies, what you have to eat here? Compulsorily? If you like or not? Halwa. That is must. Actually eating halwa is a sign that somebody has gone. We have to see who is it. Yeah, so here... You enjoy death. You celebrate death. So this is a birthday and this is a death day. And what else? Which day is this? Enjoyment day. This is joy day. And 
What are the days? Meditation day, yoga day. And that is done. Hmm? What other days are there? Hmm? Children day. This is children day also. Children day, father's day. This is youth day. This is youth day. Okay. This is sister day. This is brother day. This is women's day. This is doctor's day. Worker. Oh, we are workers. This is Valentine day. Yes. Why we are forgetting Valentine? This is Valentine Day also. Then what else? Rose Day. Then Labor's Day. We are laboring. This is Chocolate Day. Then this is Ribbon Day. This is... <laughs> so, lot many days. All days are clubbed together. All days have rolled into one. So... We celebrate all the day, all the time. This is a life of celebration. This is a <laughs> this is a day. Every day is Diwali. Every day is Dashera. Every day is Holi. Every day is New Year. New Year celebration is going on all the days. And this is uh, Rakhi every day. And this is uh, Christmas every day because we enjoy, we celebrate. And uh, this is uh, what are the other festivals? Huh? Kite? Kite day. Okay. Kite. Kite. Flying kite. Okay. So, all festivals are included in this birth. All celebrations are included in this birth. All days are included in this birth. So, this is a divine birth. Now, one more aspect is there in today's this Vardhan. One is about divine birth. Second is about while staying in company with each other. Stay detached. Be a companion, but be detached. There should not be a jukav. There should not be a uh, special subservience to anybody. Remaining detached. We are with everyone and yet we are alone here. We are with everyone here, yet we have nothing to do with anyone. We are loving everyone, yet we are very much detached. And this detachment, that de- this detached observership is the very, very foundation of this spiritual life. A yogi is ever detached. He will mix with everyone, but he will come out and he has nothing to do with anyone. Yogi means untouched. Yogi is like a lotus. He remains untouched by the mud. He remains untouched by sanskars or influences by others. So yogi life is a life of detached observership. Yogi life is a life of utter detachment. If that detachment is lost, then the sorrow will begin. So, while staying with everybody, while staying in everyone's company, stay detached. So, we'll read again. So, Baba is saying, play your part, keeping this speciality and uniqueness in your awareness. Be each other's companion in service, but the companion while remaining detached observer. And uh, this is a divine birth. And those ordinary souls, they keep on celebrating all those different days and but for you there is only one promise one father and none else om shanti